on my honor, I will try to do my duty to God and my country and do my best at this exhibit. Thank you. My name is Meryl Meisler. Welcome to my show at the Stephen Kasher Gallery. New York in the 70s was a, an old world and a new world. Total new fashion, new music, lots of energy and excitement and the you know, feeling you could try everything. This was a 22, 23 year old woman taking these pictures. The 70s was my coming of age and I was reaching out and discovering who I was and what I wanted to be. The most interesting about CBGB's, the musicians waiting their turn to go up and there's like this little hallway and going down to the bathroom and everybody wrote their name like, look, look, Patti Smith Group, Jimmy Page, Miriam Joey, you know, the Ramones. Oh, you want the Ramones telephone number? Here it is. I love Jimmy. The crayons, it's okay, they didn't get noticed as well. And, oh look, Patty Smith signed her name there too. So happy to see each other. But I did write down two friends kissing each other. They were friends. Then and now I do make gesture. You know, if it's not verbally like, yes. There's an awareness I'm there. Besides Studio 54, there was just club after club after club after club. My favorite doorman was in there. Mark did, you know, Mark, Mark. And if he wasn't here to say, come on in, who cared? To go to the next club, really, and, or, or just go anyway, because they were all different. This was a place called Le, Le Mouche, and it was in, in an old elevator factory. And this was a party, it had a theme party called Wild Wild West. <laughs> a little weird, I, I didn't notice until I blew up the picture that says, rape on his button. I mean, I danced with my camera. I carried it everywhere I went. My friend Judy got a job as a, a bartender in a go-go club, and I went to visit her there. It was called Playmates. Now, same music going on, so all the disco music, people are dancing. Well, I got a job at the same go-go bar. I was a hostess. I never made as much money as I did then, and that's sad. Don't make any assumptions about people. Some of the dancers and hostesses were supporting families, singles moms, had a husband, saving up to buy a house. She went by the name of Poochie. I've called myself Meryl. <laughs> this is a woman named Stacy. Long, long standing marriage and in the Upper East Side apartment and she was a you know working go-go girl. Everyone wanting to be in New York City happened so quickly. By 1980s, it was already becoming too expensive for me. And so I, my, my goal was to get a rent stabilized apartment, you know, and that was very important. We all need a place here. That's what, that's what gives us it its, its magic. I don't want it to become box store after box store. We have to we have more affordable housing. You need to have people vested in the community, be able to live in the community. What I do have noticed lately is that a lot of the young people that I've met from Bushwick art scene that some of them now four years later are like moving away if, if you don't make it something that you can put down roots because you can never afford to you can't make it at home you're making it a transient city it's important to keep the character of new york